Cesium, in its pure form, isn't something you want around. Expose this liquid metal to air, and it might burst into flames. Add water, and it will explode. Yet we need cesium to drill for oil and gas, cancer radiation therapy, and to run atomic clocks that keep all our mobile devices in sync. One of the world's largest cesium deposits is here in Manitoba, at the Tanko Mine, along the shore of Burnick Lake. Most of the cesium at Tanko is gone. It's already been mined. What's left is in stone pillars underground, pillars that hold up the roof of the mine. Now, the Chinese company that owns Tanko has a plan to get at this cesium. Beijing-based Sinomine told the Globe and Mail last month it wants to partly drain Burnick Lake and mine the cesium from above. North American Business Division manager Frank Wang told the Toronto paper, the final goal definitely is we want to have open pit mining. This is a measure of just how scarce cesium has become. It's a sign of quite severe desperation that you're going to drain a lake just to take out the pillars of the leftovers. We're not talking about an enormous deposit here. We're just talking about the leftovers of an enormous deposit. This plan already has opponents. Environmental activist Eric Rader is concerned sediment from Burnick Lake will spill into the Bird River. As soon as you want to expand into an open pit mine, you've changed the equation. And as soon as you decide that you want to drain the lake into the lower Bird River, that's where you come into uh, immense opposition. Saging First Nation, which counts Burnick Lake as part of its traditional territory, also has concerns. In a statement, Chief E.J. Fontaine said, We have told the owners of the Tanko Mine that moving forward with that plan will require a comprehensive impact assessment and that it cannot proceed without Saging's free, prior, and informed consent. Manitoba's environment minister won't say whether the PC government would consider draining a lake to make way for an open pit mine. The process in every environmental license is unique, so it would be inappropriate for me to comment on that. The federal government might also put the brakes on Sinamine's idea four years after allowing the Chinese company to purchase Tanko. We do have a security lens on any mining developments uh, in our country, including this one. And so that would obviously be, uh, be a consideration in both an environmental assessment and a security assessment. Sinamine declined interview requests but confirmed it wants to redevelop the Tanko site. It promised any mine expansion would undergo a rigorous review. Bart Lakivas, CBC News, Winnipeg.